This is an emergency I'm begging urgently This is a serious case Well, I touch on these cards. All right. As you know, I'm a direct interview reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthdays. Act that you be open with the spirit and have fun. We're going to be doing your ancestor reading. Uh, as you know, the ancestor reader consists of five cards. Lay down five cards. Each card represents one of your ancestors. I lay down another card on top of each one of them, and it represents their message for you. Before I go to the next one, I give you a chance to ask a question concerning the message. Uh, please don't focus on the characters, as they can be one day past or one million years. You may know them, you may not. It's the message that's important. Again, just be open with the spirit and have fun. One more. All right. So, I've taken the liberty of shuffling card. I want you to say your first name or whatever you like to be called so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes. All right, let's rock. We got your first one, second one, third, fourth, and fifth. The message to you, one, two, three, four, and five. Jump into this. This one is pretty interesting. We're gonna jump into the first ancestor. So we're gonna be uh, talking to your first ancestor. Uh, this here is a female. All right. This here is a female. Now this ancestor right here, she says she represent. She came in the form of a over not an older uh, 45, 46. Uh, she keeps showing me shit like the Titanic. She keeps showing me things like the boat, the Titanic or something. You can hear me? Did I? No, I said, can, can you hear me? Yes. All right, this ancestor is 40, 45 years old. She keeps showing me a boat, a ship like the Titanic. Like round by that time, oh, okay. sailors, Titanic cruise ship, but old. Now, right. she came in the form of the eight of water in the upright position. Uh, so you see that so you see how this octopus is taking down this ship, shipwreck, tragedy. Now your eighth house is subconscious mind. She said you get this, you think that shit is finna fall through the cracks for you. She said you think that shit is finna fall through the cracks for you but then you're not taking it serious. It still haven't clicked in that it's, it's like, uh, think about a person who, who can take pain. You know, you, the motherfucker just getting his finger twisted to fucking hell again, and instead of him saying, ouch, move, he laughing like, oh shit, stop, 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 stop. oh shit, stop, 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 stop. That's what she said, this is, this is what you're going through. You're taking so much shit, you're taking so much pain, and you just feel the bottom is going to drop out of shit. But she's saying power of joy. You still got power of joy. She said you, you're just laughing it off. You're laughing. You're deflecting shit like Spider-Man. You put it on top. Her message to you is this attitude you have is the best damn thing you can have. Because your ship is not going to sink. Keep on. If everybody's saying I'm leaving you. 
Everybody saying you ain't shit. I'm gonna take your kids or whatever. You're gonna fail. You ain't gonna work. Poppycock. She got you. She say your passion and your happy personality is staving all this shit off. It's like I don't. I mean, it's like a motherfucker say I'm gonna hit you and you like do it, bitch. Do it. I dare you. You can't hurt me. It's that type of I'm standing up to the fuck shit energy. Right. She is saying good job on this shit. Cause she said that ship ain't gonna sink. And she said the Titanic didn't sink. <laughs> so that's the hurt shit. I don't know what you're talking about there. I'm off of that. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um Yes. Um Like she, I, I'm not I'm, honestly I'm not worried about a lot of things because after last year uh, doing my uh, purification bath and seeing so many people just kind of fall from the wayside last year I, I said or I just said this earlier last year was my year of enlightenment this year is my year of progress so I'm not concerned about a lot of things but I do just want to know like being uh, we finally made this move to, to uh, South Carolina and everything and I got this whole new bigger family and Wow, I, I just wanna. How much longer do we have to 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 wait as far as for the process of getting everything we need done? Because Spirit, how long, it's a long trip. Spirit, how long do they gotta wait? It's it, it's just you say the bottom is not gonna fall out. How long do they got? Find the blessing in your current situation. You are seeing the situation accurately, and yes, find uh. Okay, you're seeing the situation accurately. Travel, yes. You're supposed to be there, yes. So, what's the blessing in her current situation? So, who who offered you a car, or who gave you a car, or loaned you their vehicle, or sold you a, a nice cheap vehicle, or somebody a car? I want to say yeah, silver. Yeah, we bought a van. Uh huh. And it broke down. Uh, it broke down before we could even make it out of Vegas. So right now it's sitting in the shop in, in Boulder City, needing to be fixed. Um, a new alternator and a couple other things. <laughs> but she, I was honestly thinking about just letting it go because no, it was, it was so she much. said the person who when that van get fixed, that's when everything turn around. Okay. So if you get somebody to help you fix this van and when y'all get this van back, that's when it turn around. Okay. So that's a that's an anchor point, okay? Alright, now we're gonna go over here to your second ancestor. Alright. Who are you? Okay, I see you. Alright, this ancestor is a male. Oh, human. This ancestor is a male and he's a jungle dweller. Like, if not a jungle dweller, he's just like in the, the, the loincloth and nothing else. Loincloth walk around, gather, hunter gatherer energy. But he's he's dated. He's dated before technology. Because he don't he don't even they see he's still drinking water out of an egg or out of a little makeshift mud cup or something. It ain't even, it just uh, out of a shell or something. He's dated. Now, he came in the form of the seven of earth in the upside down position. He said, you have an issue not listening to the people around you that have done it, that have been there, that have achieved the same shit you're trying to achieve. Your issue is, I can do it all by myself. Cause he's saying, if you know how to climb the fucking tree, to get a coconut. Why the hell won't you do exactly what this man did to get up in the tree? He got an abundance. You sitting up there throwing rocks and sticks trying to make one fall. And then the, he said your problem is you're not listening. You're not listening. So he said you need to start listening to the people around you that's trying to give you critical advice. Would you like to ask him a question? I'm, I'm not gonna I'm ask just, that. I'm not gonna ask that question because when you say who, you got a whole another extended family. You got a whole fucking circumstance. Somebody got to be I telling you some good shit. Nobody. That's the thing. Like I have no clue who would be trying to tell me 
trying so to get you ain't anybody. you ain't conversating with nobody you ain't meeting nobody up on the road at the stove in the parking lot at the hospital you ain't meeting nobody you just do like this all day and when you and your girl around each other you and your family around each other you like this somebody I is met, um yeah we got, well i just got introduced to um her friend his sister and stuff and she was asking if i wanted to do some business other stuff to add on to whatever i'm trying to do on the side and i was like we ain't got no place to stay right now so i can't do nothing right now wow she ain't listening so he's right you're not listening if somebody come and offer you right. you want to do a business if you ain't got nowhere to stay I ain't, I ain't got nowhere to stay right now, so I ain't gonna try to better my situation. Right. Yeah, what's the logic? What the logic? I know. <laughs> it's just because the business she does requires internet and computer and all of that. That means I need a space to put all that stuff. I don't have a space right now while I'm trying to and you find can't, something. And you, can't, and you can't hang out with her? You can't hang out with her spot and do it over there at her spot and leave? No. Even I, 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 that, that that's one thing. Even I would ask my ancestors if they felt like that energy over there in that space would be con conducive for me and my family. To Look at that. You, you still ain't listening. You just you still ain't listening. You automatically said no before you even asked about the energy or tried to get into it. Come on now. Right. It just <laughs> it made me nervous. They got a lot going on over there. It's a and it's a lot. Okay, what that got to do with you getting in a stable place so you can grow? I done seen motherfuckers live in boo boo all day long, but as soon as they get a nice house and a tub and they wash that shit off of them, you, right. you, you're not listening. Would you like to ask Spirit a question? This, this ancestor, he, he talking shit. Spirit. With everything that, she, that she's got going on in her house right now. Spirit, if this person offers her to stay at this place, will it benefit her and them babies? Your child either your child will get healthier too. Your child wouldn't have the sicknesses that going on with them. So yes, it would be beneficial. Fuck because they sit up there and jump on each other, hit each other, smoke and punch each other and argue all day. That ain't got nothing to do with you because you're under her protection. So yes, okay. well, that would be a good thing. Start here and get yourself out of this situation. The move was good. So don't second guess that. That's what the first ancestor said. This one said, right. you're not trying hard as you can or you're deflecting. Now we're going to go over to the third ancestor. All right. All right. Yeah, I can say that now. Like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, he fish pumping. This ancestor is a male ancestor. He came in the form of the ace of water in the upside down position. He's fist pumping like, mmm, yeah, mmm, yeah. Now with this fist pump, he's saying you're almost broken. He said you're almost to the right point where your ass about to tip over, baby. You almost broken, but you're too damn stubborn and you're too damn hard. He's saying, mmm, we almost got it. Gee. When she break, boy, when that reservoir break, then she gonna get up and she gonna do us shit. They just, he just waiting for that flood of emotion to just take it. When you pull in your head, ah, bitch, ah, he waiting. The ace of water upside down. He say, stop trying to be so on top of them, the shit like you're on the surface level, like you're cool and calm and you got it going on. He say, yo, ass about to break. And he does. Now, his message to you is peace offering. As soon as your ass break, somebody from your past is gonna be there to say, "Let's kid, let me help you out of this shit." Somebody who you ran away from. That's the person that's gonna get there. But you can't. But this you showing this person this happy go lucky shit, and they think you doing good. The, the person that you done left, that you ran from, wink wink, you ran from. They still think you're doing good. But if you fall, that person gonna crawl on their knees to make sure you're okay. Y'all may not get back together. But the person gonna do it. You almost at that tipping point for that help to come in, and he is sitting up there just he's sitting up there trying to push the bitch over to make you break. Peace offering. Okay. 
Would you like to ask this? Would you like to ask ask us a question? I want to know who. <laughs> I, I ask, who who are you? Who are you? Uh, who are I'm gonna call you? Um, uh, who are you? Who are you? Artistic expression, okay. Release tension. Focus on your strength. He says he's a liar. He said he was the greatest liar you and your mother them ever seen. That's all he did is lie. Say so he lied about everything. He didn't have to lie about shit. Skinny man, t-shirt. I mean, when I say skinny, I mean, when he put on like a small t-shirt, his arms, that, that bitch was too big for him. He was just a slim, older fellow. Puffy little afro, have one good at all. He had bad, he had a real bad grade of hair. That's what we call it here in the South, bad grade. Right. But your mom knew him. Your mom knew him. You probably saw him one or two times, but he is not here. Matter of fact, liver cirrhosis got him. Cirrhosis of the liver got him, he say, because he keeps saying muddy, muddy liver. So. If I'm not mistaken, Muddy Liver and he traveled from Tennessee or Mississippi. I get those two mixed up. Right. So he traveled up from the, that part up to where you guys was. And he's saying he's trying to tip it over. But he's more inclined to your mother. But he is, your, he is related. Okay. Hold on one second. Let's go over here to your fourth ancestor. This is pretty male oriented. Your fourth ancestor is here. This is a male. Uh, this ancestor right here, he's talking, he's saying something along the lines of James Earl Jones. He keeps talking about James Earl Jones, how he liked James Earl Jones. Probably talking about the movie Roots or something like that, you know? But, but this is how he's showing me himself, James Earl Jones, but like the, like an actor, like an actor, somebody that would have played James Earl Jones or really, or, uh, something like that. Now, right. he came in the form of the tent of air in the upside down position. He is saying, your thing is you're not acting enough, meaning you're not talking enough you're not trying to get your point across you're not selling the situation there we go thank you he says you're not selling the situation uh but you are talking too much you're trying to relate to people but you're not letting them know your shit he's saying you're basically talking about the wrong thing to the right people all right change that shit up if you in need if you destitute tell a bitch i'm in need don't be like, oh yeah, I got it, it's coming, I'm going to make it, I'm going to be good. No, you're not. You got a pain point right now. Bitch, I am hurting. I need your help. I need your assistance. It is what it is. Go fund me. It is what it is. You're talking the wrong stuff to the right people. His message to you is work your magic. Communicate better. Talk. Get it off your chest. Say what you need to say. Would you like to ask him right. a question? Uh, no, I actually understand that one. Honestly, I feel like that one connects more with the second one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There we go. So now we're going over here to your fifth ancestor. All right. Now I want you to say, I want you to understand where I'm going with this. And you need to listen. This is not like your previous relationship. Okay. Listen good. This is a female ancestor and she is talking about the girl, not a guy. She's talking about the chick. You just met. Not the old chick. Let me get that shit out of the way. She's saying this new chick because I'm seeing this new chick working around hot metal or some kind of plastic burning around her, fire, something. Either she smoke a lot or 
I just, I like, you just you do hair and I'm feeling like that burn, like when you do your hair, you burn the tips and dip it in the water and to get that nice, that crazy burn smell. That's what I'm smelling. All right. So she, this, this ancestor came in the form of message uh, from a message from the air in the upright position. She is saying this person is going to take you higher than you ever been before. If you play the game properly, this person will do you right. If you play the game properly. Now, her message to you is, you better fix yourself up a little bit more. Look at this card. You, she gave you Oshun. She said, you better get your shit together and fix yourself up a little bit more and make this thing, make this, this woman desire you. So what's going on with the new woman? The, the, how long you been with this person here? I've been with this particular female. We've known each other since we were like 18. We joined the military. Yeah? Not knowing how long you been with. Physically with her, we just went back up. Back in July. There you go. The one that you just got with. Now, this ain't no old shit that beat you up, y'all fought, kicked each other ass, and, you, and you're running from. This is a fresh relationship. You need to get in your feminine energy a hell of a lot more and do your thing. All right. Because this person, y'all can go. I'm through all of this with the babies and. Uh oh. And so, so the one you ran from, it, the one that you ran from followed you here? The, the one that you left, the one that you was, remember, uh, back before you moved? Yeah. That, that same person followed you and now you're here again? No. Okay. We're, that person there is bad news. This person is good. All right. The, that person, the, the female I was friends with and whatnot from the last year, she was one of those people that... Like I said, when I did my purification bath after my birthday last year, just all of her, it was like a blindness being removed, and everything she was doing, I, I saw, and I took it at face value, and I was like, bye. And then that's when this one came back. So, yeah, losing her opened up the, uh, the window door for the other one to come back because she didn't, the, she didn't like the other chick. So she wasn't gonna come around until I got rid of her. Okay. I got rid of her, and here we are now. All right. All right, so now, would you like to ask this ancestor something about this card they just said? About how this female that is by your side right now, so let's not mistake it, the one by your side right now is gonna take you higher than you ever been. Your, your charge is to be more feminine and beautiful and let this person know that you are very much accessible. Where we 
we are each other's only female partner. But we are both searching for our male counterparts separately. We don't have the same interests, so we don't want to share a person. Is that something that's going to happen for both of us, or is there just one person for us both? Spirit, is there one person for them both? See the other person's point of view. Is there one person for them both? Follow your heart. Uh, meditate. No, you each gonna have your own. You're each gonna have your own, and the one that you find is gonna talk with a list. He's gonna have some kind of like not a speech impediment, but he's gonna be like more type shit. Some, okay. some he either bite his tongue or he's gonna bite his tongue almost every other day, but. So he's, I think he got a big tongue or something. Okay. All right. How long? What? What's your time say about the the thing? Because I can't see. I can't see how long we've been going. I don't want to run over. What's your? How, how long we've been on the phone? Because I want to give you a chance to ask some questions. Right. It don't say. I, I know. It's five uh, fourteen yeah. now. Trying to see what time did we start? Yeah, okay, let me go here. I want to make sure. Okay, there we go. We started at 4. Okay, so we run around by the 30 minute mark. That's that's perfect. Would you like to ask the, Would you like to ask any random questions? I I think we got time for about 2. Um Am I going to meet are we separately going um, together rather I should say going to meet our other halves within the next I'll say three months? Spirit, will this other half come within the next three months for them both? Look in the mirror, choose peace. Energy healing. Spiritual laws of attraction, yes. But the thing is, again, you're gonna have to turn on your feminine charm a little bit more. Yeah. Hell, less than three months. Uh, spirit say round by two as soon as you Start wearing your high heels or whatever the hell you do that turn yourself feminine. It's gonna be right when I get back to my human state. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. And financially, are we looking at a very lucrative year? Spirit, how's this year gonna be for her and the kids and this and her friends? let it go fertility you can do it yes so why are you stressing over a baby they say one thing that's holding you back financially is a baby either the baby isn't with you or is somebody trying to get the baby but they saying you need to let the energy go of this baby situation what's that about are you like not putting somebody on child support are you basically saying you don't need somebody's money or what's going on because they saying I'm not, I'm not stressing the money situation because with my daughter saw that like he I don't know what he's going through but it, it's that want to act like a victim oh I, I, I can't do it and I'm gonna just need you to just let. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna file her on my taxes this year, and I was like, I didn't say nothing. Spirit say, let that shit go. Let it go. Fertility situation, and you can do it. I, I wouldn't have known that this man telling you to let you file that baby on them tax. Spirit say, you better drop that damn energy. Your finances, your leg up, while you living in this living state that you're in, come from you. Dealing with your children, not him dealing with your children. Who's to say he's gonna give you All anything? Right. That's what I was like. I'm, I'm honestly, I've been taking care of her on my own since she was one. I'm not gonna do that. Like, I feel bad that you're going through what you're going through, but you are a person who had no criminal record, who literally could have done anything with their life, and you chose to take yourself down this route. I've been doing what I need to do to take care of me and mine. So that ain't got nothing to do with me. You won't put it on me. Like, I feel bad. That's that's the only thing I feel. I feel bad because I know I'm not going to let that happen. Like, you, you can say you're going to follow her, but if you do, that's going to be more trouble you putting yourself in because you don't take care of her. Mm -hmm. Spirit say, let that go. I'm not going to fight Make sure you. Because you, you don't have no job, uh, no stable income, staying with my son's father. They haven't found him in forever. So I was like, I can't. I'm not going to keep doing this. It's too much. So
So you get stable when you stop allowing this man to take advantage of you with this baby. So I saw you had the pen and paper. How you like this reading? Of course, you know, I love all my readings. <laughs> They just they this this one guy over here that's trying to tip over. He's trying to break you, and he, they doing it in a very nice way. So if the ancestors I, coming to try to break you to get you to pray harder and to do your thing, how about we beat them to the punch and you just accept the offerings that's coming to you? Right. Yeah. Cause I'm trying. I really am. But it makes me nervous. I, I broke this morning with everything going on with baby. I could. I couldn't. I just, I ain't cried this entire time, but I couldn't just today. I couldn't, right. it broke me. Told you, he, he, tip, he tipping that pot over. He broke your head. He waiting for you. He ain't done. Wait till that motherfucker take a run and start and jump kick that pot. Wow! Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> well, it was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for taking the reading early. I couldn't pay for that. All right then, darling, let me get on this next one. It was a pleasure talking to you. Good to see you smiling. You're always Thanks. smiling. Even though this ancestor here say it's fake. You, you in pain. Anyway, but keep on. She say keep on faking because uh, keep on faking because it's working for you. Yeah. So, it's all right, darling. Well, you be good and your future looking Thank real you. bright. Thank you. All right, see how you go. You too, baby. All right, everybody, that was a follow-up. She's been rocking with me for about a year and a half now, and she took the move. She got a little disappointed in the move because of, as you can see in the thing, but she is going to be okay. She always positive, and that's the beautiful thing about this sister here. I love it. If you ain't hit that like button, please do so. All right, everybody, I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. So try. All right. You are going to be doing a conversation. Yep. Yeah, you're going to be doing a conversation with the Baron. So let me tell you what the conversation with the Baron consists of, okay? Okay. So the conversation with the Baron consists of us talking for a little bit. We're going to talk about 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes to the most about whatever it is you want to talk talk about. I developed this reading for those people who just used to just call through and <laughs> Baron, I want to speak in and, and you know, and I say, well, if, uh, people do the, people don't really be want tarot readers or they just be want somebody to talk to. So that's what type of reading you just got right now. So, okay. you just, whatever on your mind, you just talk about it, see what's going on. There ain't no cards to get pulled if, if spirit don't say pull them. But I always shuffle them, cut them, and people may have questions. But it's just you talking to me for 30 minutes, telling me what's going on with you, what you want me to know, and just asking random questions and see if spirit can help you, okay? All right, so as you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in any zodiac signs and birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. Again, we're just having a conversation. Is and I and if spirit say answer these questions, lay down some cards. I will. And if you just want to just vent and talk and do whatever, that's all good too. All right. Okay. All right now. I take a little shuffle in the cards. I want you to say your first name or whatever you would like to be called so I can pray on. Do I have permission to cut your card? Yes. All right. Go ahead and say what's on your mind. What we talking about tonight? Um. Well, I've been not so. I want to talk about how I can fix myself. You know, I 
you know, because I had a work injury at work last year, and I've been out of work for like a whole year. Okay. And what happened to me, just to start it off with my hand, it got smashed in the door at work, and so there's like an ongoing workers' comp thing going on, but that's closed because all the doctors are saying that nothing's wrong with me, but yet I'm like waking up and pain every day, and it's affecting my love life as well. Um, it's affecting how I deal with my family. It's affecting me overall, and I don't know like what else to do, and I've just been just really, yeah, just been like looking for answers, trying to find some clarity. Okay. So you want to find clarity on how you can fix your overall general life, dealing with the workman's comp all the way down to your love life. Yeah, because it's just making it, it's it's interfering me. It's interfering with me being sexual with my husband, like because like my body just gets tired, like right? you know, and going months without any action, that's just crazy. Yeah. You know, um, I, I mean, do. we're good. Like, our relationship is good. You know, we're not fussing and fighting and all that. I mean, there's been small stuff, but it's not enough to, like, break up or anything like that. But I'm knowing that this isn't fair. You know, it's, it's like I have the urge, but I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get tired, and then we just don't do anything. And then I can tell that he's a little cranky, but he should push them on because that's just life. But right. it doesn't have to be life. You know? So, now, I mean, first thing I want you to focus in on when it comes to spirit, I want you to ask spirit, spirit, uh, what is the real issue? Is it the pain of my hand that's causing my entire body to hurt? Or, spirit, is it a mental block? I need for you to really figure this out. Because unless you're crippled up, bent up, broke up, and stuff like that, and that's what's causing the pain over your body, then that's one thing, but if it's a psychological thing or a mental thing, that's another. So I need for you to figure out, you well, you need to figure out exactly what is it that's the case with you. Okay, so ask the question now. If you want. Yeah, I do want to ask the question. Um, what is, what is stopping me I'm trying to figure out how to ask the question. Is there a mental block on what's going on with me as far as the pain? Alright. Spirit. Is there a mental issue going on, mental block with as far as with this pain, why she can't live her life? Is this mental? Spirit said health and healing. Okay, is this mental? See the other person's point of view. Teach. Health and healing. See the other person's point of view and teach. Uh, Spirit is saying this is more, it really is a physical thing, it's not a mental thing, but health and healing, see the other person's point of view and teach. You haven't went back to the doctor because I guess everything is over and got your meds and got this and got that. Well, yeah, and plus I they closed my case, so I haven't even been able to actually. When the accident happened, they said it was like a soft tissue injury, mm -hmm. so they just it you take, know, brushed it off. It takes on soft on issues. It takes soft tissue three years to heal. Wow. Well, I don't know why they told me it was something that was supposed to. I was supposed to recover in like twelve weeks from when it happened. Recover, and recovery and healing two like, different things. Yeah, then they, you know, said it was a nerve thing eventually. And, like, basically the same stuff happening with my right hand where it all started, it's like, on, like, I feel, I feel it on the rest of my body. Like, the tingling and numbness, just all that stuff, the headache, and... I never had a doctor to ask me assess it. So the doctors I had before, they weren't specialized in nerves. And because they only allow you to have three doctors, and I've had three doctors, but none of them was for this injury that they now saying they have a name for it. 
But it's like a catch-22 because if they're telling me I can only have three doctors and mm-hmm. that's it for me, then how am I supposed to get better if you won't? Now, they, this, but let me, I'm going to, I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Has this, okay. has these doctors say that you do have an underlying issue? One of the specialty doctors did say that I had something going on with the nerves, but they won't allow him to be the attendant physician because they're saying I already have three. All right. Now, what you got to do is this is you filing for disability or so. Why haven't you filed for your disability? If you got all the aches and quirks and kicks and you already got something saying there is something there and you don't have three, did the other three doctors say ain't nothing wrong with you? Yeah. This is not right. You know something's wrong with you. Now you go to your personal health care physician and he'll send you to a specialist and they'll see what's wrong and they'll say, hey, this is what's wrong. It ain't about an attending physician on the, for workman's comp. It's about you knowing that something's wrong with you. Now, it don't take spirit to see that. That's just personal. Yeah. Why am I seeing laundry, washing clothes, laundry, towels, sheets, dryer? What's going on with, with, with a big corp, like corporation of laundry? Um. What did you get hurt at? Okay. Well, cool. I wasn't dealing with laundry. I was dealing with um, like the Microsoft or the suits that they make. Like that's what I was kind of distributing throughout the building when oh. I got hurt. Okay. I'm seeing laundry. Uh, I'm seeing wash laundry, any kind of linen. Wash laundry linen. Uh, could you con? So you haven't contacted an attorney because I'm thinking an attorney should be named linen. Or something dealing with the washer, washer, linen, stain, you, you know what I'm saying? Spirit is trying to tell you the proper lawyer to go through so you can, so they can show you what's going on. But you need to file for, un, uh, for uh, not unemployment, you need to file for social security disability on top of contacting your lawyer. Yes. Disability. Right. Okay. Get, get your disability lawyer. Uh, the disability lawyer name is going to be something dealing with washing clothes, dryer, dyer. You know, it's a, the spirit is trying to give you the name, but you, 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 you're smart enough. You can put this together. Okay. All right. Okay. What else got? What else on your mind? Spirit just help you with that one. You want to give up on your mama then sometimes you don't want to. Now, anytime people say something like that, I'm going to ask you, what's the pain point? What's the pain point concerning your mom? Um, the fact that I think I may be still a little angry and it's the fact that I was, you know, I was sent away with my grandmother to live, to live, you know, in a different country, but like she never really kept in contact with me or... It's like I feel like I don't know her well enough because of like she just wasn't we barely business and even when I'm grown now like I ended up moving back with her when I turned fourteen. Mm-hmm. Um, um. Then after that I left and went to the army. We just didn't have a good connection because we didn't. I guess maybe the bond was broken when I was little because I was left. You know was. That's the way with my grandparents mm-hmm. when I was five. Yeah. So, and like we both, you know, we're, we just all know what it is. It's like, it's almost like she'll say to come visit me, but then something gets in the way. It's almost like there's something swapping us from like actually well, like being together. Well, then try to act spirit, try to act spirit or something. Is First off, should I deal with mom? 
you know, second question on that one there, uh, you know, uh, is there anything blocking us? But we got to know if this you should deal with it. It could be positive forces saying just stay away from this person. This person's mind ain't right. You know, so try to ask a couple questions on that end. Spirit, should she continue to deal with her mother? Spirit said priorities. What's the priority? Flow of prosperity, persistence. No. Priorities, flow of prosperity, and persistence. It's your priority to get your life together. Your mother will be another needed bullshit distraction. Don't even worry about it. You can, you can be angry with her for a little bit longer before you try to repair this. The, the, the uh, conversations with the Baron pretty cool, ain't it? Get that shit off the chest. Oh, okay. Well, so I just, of my mother, because she was so sweet and kind and got my Congratulations. listening to you. I'm just making sure I'm hearing you right. Yeah. Um, so, that's been kind of a tricky situation with me, you know, wanting to accomplish all of these goals and it costs money to go to school. Um, so, I'm like, is it... Yeah. Now that I'm hearing myself talk, I'm almost going back to that disability question. Mm -hmm. I think I need to take care of that before it, even. Exactly. Oh, I didn't know I was going to get that answer before this. So, <laughs> you know, uh huh. It, it, listen, all the questions that to our, all the all the answers to the questions that we have is in ourselves. Talk it out with yourself. You you understand? Spirit is here to nudge us along, give us a little boost. Come, what else you want to talk about? Let's let's hit it. We got a little. We got ten, ten, twelve minutes. I want to talk about my son. So I mean, about me dealing with my son. Um, he has special needs. Mhm. Mm and we we haven't been haven't had him around any kids because of COVID and that sort of stuff. He's been going to school, but they don't have the kids ain't necessarily interacting with each other. Okay. But when I went over to my friend who has a um a for a little girl, you know, she's, she's normal, so when she saw my kid and, you know, her thing was, what's wrong with us? And I know kids don't mean any harm, right. because, you know, she's just stating the obvious of what's not looking normal. But the thing is, I had an issue with how I was supposed to deal with it. I'm like, so am I not standing up for my kid when I didn't ask the question, or... It can be, you know, it can be kind of tough with, you know, having a toddler with Stephanie's not talking and that sort of thing. Um, I just want to know, am I, am I dealing right, dealing with it correctly, or? Okay, Spirit, is she dealing with her son, her child's disability correctly? Is she overreacting? What's going on here? Spirit said, "Detach from drama. You are, you are, you are taking this onto yourself. Focus upon your strength and freedom. You need to let this go. Your kid has a disability. We know that. That's that's in, that's set in stone at the moment. You can't sit up there and make excuses for him because you're not making the excuse for him, darling. You're 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 trying to make the excuse for you. What happened to get him this way? That's basically what that little girl said to you." 
Why is he like this? Translation, what did your parents do to get you like this? And this is where you're taking offense to that. That has nothing to do with you. That is your child's affliction that that he got to grow into and learn how to adjust so he can get on his heavenly wings. You got me? So yeah, stop yeah. taking this shit on to you. I have a special needs son. I didn't. I had nothing to do with that. I, the, the umbilical cord cut off oxygen to his head a little bit. Made him artistic, they say. When they say, man, Matthew looks funny. I teach my son Matthew. I may look funny, but your girl won't me. You see what I'm saying? I teach him how to come back. Because that ain't my deal. That's his deal. But I just, we as parents got to make our kids strong to handle that type of look. Not you. It's not for you. So you, you, the way you reacted was wrong, Spirit said. So detach from drama, focus on your strength, which is loving that baby and creating a life, and look for freedom. Get out of the situation. Get in an area where you can put the kid around like-minded people. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense what you said, because I did, when I first found out about the disability, I did put a lot of guilt on myself. Like, I thought it was my fault, something I was doing with the pregnancy, you know. So, yeah, that explains why. Yeah, I could see why I got that response. Mm hmm. Um, wow. This is old. Baron, this reading is dope. <laughs> um, oh, I do want to say something. Um, so I got a reading from you last year. Okay. Like it was summer. Okay. And it was about, well, one of the, one of the cards that was pulled, I don't remember what card it was, but the point is my son was, or it was something about somebody moving in moving in my home or something like that. And I mentioned that it was my son that was supposed to be moving in. So I just wanted to send an update that he ended up not being, um, he ended up not moving in. Your son. Which is great. It's a lot of stress on me. He needs to be with his dad. Okay. Okay, hold on. I, I, I remember your reading. This is you and the son is a dick, right? The son is a real jerk and he's mimicking yeah. his father. Yeah. All right. Now, I did not say the son was going to move in. I said you need to kick him out. Oh, I said okay. he was going to go live with his father. Yeah, he was already living with him. He just came over for the summer. And then what happened was his dad's like, well, I'm going to be going on deployment. He may need to move back with you. So that's what happened with that. And that didn't really want that. I thought it would have been okay. And I thought about it. I'm like, no, that's some extra stuff. Um, that's. No, I can't even deal with that. Yep. So I ended up just creating a whole reality in my head by saying, no, there's no way that the point is happening. Yep. You know. Wow. No, oh, yeah. Anything else you want to talk about? Anything else you want to use? These the, the, uh, conversations with the Baron pretty cool, Lane. Get that shit off your chest. Yeah. Congratulations. And then I applied for school to do some social work. Good. And I just don't even know. I'm trying, that's why I'm trying to heal myself because I want to be able, I'm trying to figure out what the work life is going to look for me. You know, like, I mean, how is that looking for me to get back in the world to with get, all this pain? To get so, back in the work field with all this pain? I got you. No, I'm listening to you. I'm just making sure I'm hearing you right. Yeah. Um, so that's been kind of a tricky situation with me, you know, wanting to accomplish all these goals. And it costs money to go to school. Um, so I'm like, is it... Yeah. Now that I'm hearing myself talk, I'm almost going back to the disability question. Mm -hmm. I think I need to take care of that before it, even. Exactly. Oh, I didn't know I was going to get that answer before this. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh huh. It, it, listen, 
all the questions that to our, all the all the answers to the questions that we have is in ourselves. Talk it out with yourself. You you understand. Spirit is here to nudge us along, give us a little boost. Come. What else you want to talk about? Let's let's hit it. We got a little. We got 10, 10 12 minutes. Mm-hmm. Well, and we we haven't been haven't had him around any kids because of COVID and that sort of stuff. He's been going to school but they don't have the kids ain't necessarily interacting with each other. Okay. But when I went over to my friend who has a um a, a little girl, you know, she's she's normal. So but when she saw my kid and you now you know, her thing was, What's wrong with us? And I know kids don't mean any harm. Right. And, you know, she's just stating the obvious of what's not looking normal. And the thing is, I had an issue with how I was supposed to deal with it. I'm like, so am I not standing up for my kid when I didn't ask the question? Or it could be, you know, it could be kind of tough with, you know, having a toddler with Stephanie's not talking and that's the thing. Um, I just want to know, am I, am I dealing right, dealing with it correctly or? Okay, Spirit, is she dealing with her son, her child's disability correctly? Is she overreacting? What's going on here? Spirit said, detach from drama. You are, you are, you are taking this onto yourself. Focus upon your strength and freedom. You need to let this go. Your kid has a disability. We know that. That's that's in, that's set in stone at the moment. You can't sit up there and make excuses for him because you're not making the excuse for him, darling. You're 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 trying to make the excuse for you. What happened to get him this way? That's basically what that little girl said to you. Why is he like this? Translation. What did your parents do to get you like this? And this is where you're taking offense to that. That has nothing to do with you. That is your child's affliction that that he got to grow into and learn how to adjust so he can get on his heavenly wings you got me so yeah, stop taking this shit on to you i have a special needs son i didn't i had nothing to do with that I, the, the umbilical cord cut off oxygen to his head a little bit made him autistic they say when they say man matthew looks funny i teach my son matthew I may look funny, but your girl want me. You see what I'm saying? I teach him how to come back. Because that ain't my deal. That's his deal. But I just, we as parents got to make our kids strong to handle that type of look. Not you. It's not for you. So you, you, the way you reacted was wrong, Spirit said. So detach from drama. Focus on your strength, which is loving that baby and creating a life. And look for freedom. Get out of the situation. Get in an area where you can put the kid around like-minded people. Yeah, if that makes sense what you said, because I did, when I first found out about the disability, I did put a lot of guilt on myself, like I thought it was my fault, something I was doing with the pregnancy, you know, so yeah, that explains why, yeah, I can see why I got that response. Mm -hmm. Um, wow, this is old. Baron, this reading is dope. <laughs> um, oh, I do want to say something. Um, so I got a reading from you last year. Okay. Like it was summer. Okay. And it was about well, one of the one of the cards that was pulled. I don't remember what card it was, but the point is, my son was, or it was something about somebody moving in moving in my home or something like that and I mentioned that it was my son that was supposed to be moving in so I just wanted to send an update that he ended up not being um, he ended up not moving in your son which is great it's a lot of stress on me he needs to be with his dad okay okay hold on I, I, I remember your reading this is you and the son is a dick right the son is a real jerk and he's mimicking yeah. his father yeah. All right. Now, I did not say the son was going to move in. I said you need to kick him out. Oh, I said okay. he was going to go live with his father. 
Yeah, he was already living with them. He just came over for the summer. And then what happened was his dad's like, well, I'm going to be going on deployment. He may need to move back with you. So that's what happened with that. And that didn't really want that. I thought it would have been okay. And I thought about it. I'm like, no, that's extra stuff. Um, that's, no, I can't even deal with that. Yep. So I ended up just creating a whole reality in my head by saying, no, there's no way that the point is happening. Yeah. You know, the universe know what I need and that's not what's happening. So I just had like this faith that that's just not what was going to happen because the universe know that's not what I need. So why is that going to be happening? So I just held that faith and then I got a text message from him a month later saying that the thing was, the, the appointment was canceled. Damn right. From the title. If that boy oh, yeah, don't, I, I, I remember that boy made you cry. You was talking about him, and you didn't even want to admit that that kid was a jerk in that reading. I remember that reading. You didn't want to admit that that kid was a jerk, and you were like, "I love him, I want him, but he act like his dad. His dad is training him, and spirits say keep mm -hmm. that little fucker away from there. He's a jerk and all that shit." And you like, okay, spirit already told you he wasn't gonna come back with you, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, you got about five okay, minutes, so right out. Yeah, there was one in the beginning of that same reading, there was something about um, someone stalking me. Blue, is that the stalker in the blue car? The white guy hiding behind the blue car? Because uh, it were two stalker ones I can remember. What should she do if she ever run into this clown? Balance career and home life. Come out of the closet. Go now. Ah, uh, wow. Serious? Shit. What? <laughs> Spirit said, if you ever run into this person, I mean, you ever run into this person again, the stalky thing is not to hurt you. It's because this person really likes you from afar. So they were like, you run into them, it's going to be in a different thing. The stalking thing, if you wouldn't have, like, deleted him and he would have kept watching you, he would have been, like, obsessed with you. But if you ever run into him in the future, it's gonna, he's going to calm down and it's, he's going to show you that he likes you. It's a fine line between I love her, I like her, I want to deal with her, we knew each other from the past, versus I'm going to hurt her stalking. This is, I'm watching her, she's so adorable, attractive, whatever. You, you see where I'm going with this? Yeah. So Spirit said, balance career and home life and come out the closet. Go. Go now. Spirit said, don't be afraid because you're going to give him that buffer zone. So a chance encounter versus motherfuckers seeing you in the bathing suit online, seeing you doing this online, living your life, and they like, damn, she fine. She got a life. I want her. Yeah. And then now that shit building up. Nah. This time around, he need that buffer zone. Spirit say you can talk to him if you run into him. But if he just comes to your house or some shit, then throw him out, throw him away. But if you somewhere in the city and you just bump into him, hey, how you doing? Good old conversation, but if that bitch in your town and you didn't invite him, you, you, see, you see how that work? Okay. But the dude got a thing for you. Probably treat you better than your husband. But he need to stop being so socially awkward. Huh? What did you say? I didn't hear you. I said he need to stop being so socially fucking awkward. Me? Or no, him? Him. Oh. You could probably oh. find him a good old woman if he just asks, hey, baby, you want to go out to eat? But well, he's sitting up there like, man, I don't know if I should ask her. I'll just look at her. Yeah. Well, I don't think that person ever said that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
don't don't date him. God the Spirit just telling you it's an easy. It, it ain't nothing hectic if you run into him. But if he run into you, come to your shit. It's a bad thing. Vice versa, huh? you can conversate with him. Okay. Yeah, because we didn't want it to seem all weird. Like now I gotta act like I don't know the person anymore. I'm like, oh man, that's gonna create friction. Mm -hmm. I'm like. I'm like, what am I supposed to do? Okay. Alright. If, if, if you find him hanging outside your house like Kanye in the bush, you're wearing a bush, dressed like a bush with a bush in his hand and a bush t shirt, you got problems. And I'm and I can and I'm glad you 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 smiling and talking through your teeth. I love it. That's a beautiful thing. But yes, that's what this conversation with the Baron is all about. People relax. You get to talk, say what's on your mind. The spirit feel like intervening. They would. Otherwise, get that shit off your chest. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and. All right, darling. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you. Uh, would you like for me to upload this? Since it wasn't no in depth yeah. tarot, okay, it will be uploaded probably 30, 45 days from now. Okay. All right, well, I thank you for supporting me, darling, and you have your beautiful evening. Yeah, you too. All right. Bye. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, I think that was the first conversation with the Baron. Not the first, probably just one of the better ones. Conversation with the Barons that I've recorded. Sister just needed somebody to talk to, get that shit up off the chest, and hey, that's all we need sometimes. Sometimes we don't need no real spiritual intervention, because the answers are in our own mind. We just need to, to hear ourselves say it, have somebody agree with it or disagree with it, and make it tangible or valid, and next thing you know, that weight get lifted off your shoulder. All of this is therapeutic. The Baron is a therapeutic breather. Oh, that's the thing. Is it a thing? Hashtag therapeutic reading. Positive comments below. Alright everybody, I'm the Baron. Tell you guys to trust you in the universe. Because at the end of the day, that's all you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.